日本人の芸能人どれくらい英語しゃべれるのか。Let's check it out!What a c l a s s w e l c o m e to my school. It's now here and I'm with Papa Sensei. How you doing, everyone? It's still a great video today. Hey, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, hey, cheers, my guy. <laughs> cheers, a l w a y Happy Saturday. Yeah, happy Saturday. So, Kyo なんですけれども、なんと、芸能人の英語チェック第2弾、男性編。Let's go! やっぱ日本だと、まあ、英語が喋れるっていうのが、かっこいい基準として入ってくるわけね。うん、だから、多くの日本人は、この結構英語を喋れるっていう人がいるんだけど、うん、実際、ネイティブから見たら、どれぐらい流暢に喋れてるのかっていうのを、まあ、今日はですね、6人かな。Okay. 男性有名人の英語を、ルッパ先生と一緒に、チェケラーしていきたいと思います。で、今日は英語チェックなんですけれども、ボキャブラリー。うんそれから、プロナンセーション。うん。And... グラマー。あ、グラマー。グラマー。グラマー、yes。の、3つを噛んでるから、a scale of 1 to 10で、強化していきたいと思います。OK, sounds good to me. ナンバーワン is、エクスジャパン、ヨシキ。ローランド。違う、ローランド。He looks like ローランド。ああ、OK。Just looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But one's a hostel, one's a rockstar. Yeah, rockstar. OK. ヨシキ、ヨシキ。ヨシキね。Let's go! He looks like a rock star! Yeah, he is! <laughs> And what's his favorite song? Kurenai? Kurenai? Ah, Kurenai Buta! So, I love Ghibli. Ah, Kurenai ni somata! Have you ever heard? Ah, man, I like、uh, Guts da ze! <laughs> ah, Guts da ze! Guts da ze! And Linda Linda! Linda Linda! Linda. Linda.、Yeah. Do, you, do you listen to Japanese music? Uh, just sometimes I go to karaoke、uh, and the people sing it. <laughs> <laughs> so you listen.、Eh? But the Japanese song I do like is、uh, Ikimono Gakari. Oh, Ikimono Gakari. Ikimono Gakari. Yeah. Gakari. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do it, buddy. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Very good, very good. So I had a really hard time getting into this Zoom, Zoom call. So we are very sorry if you know, we got the,、uh, some kind of like a,、um, technical problem we had. Oh, don't worry about it. I was, I was freaking out like past 30 minutes. I was like, hello, 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 I'm talking to you. <laughs>、uh, anyway, so I'm so glad、uh, you, uh, you, you got in to this. So, this yeah. I'm, I'm, thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. Stop, very much. Stop. Hey, Mr. Yashiki, very good. Great job. Very great job. You know why? Because, you know, he's a Japanese guy talking on what Japanese news.、Oh. He doesn't have to speak English, right? They could have put subtitles and had a translator、mm. and everything there. But he went out of his way to speak English、mm. to this reporter. And that's such an important thing. Just like the Nelson Mandela quote speak to a man in a language he understands,、mm. it goes to his head.、Oh. Speak to a man in a language of his own, it goes to his heart. Kokoro ni henas. So he hits hard hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, so we got a lot of experience like that, you know what I mean, Mr. Yoshiki. But hey, hands down. So let's go through the three things. First one, vocabulary. Fantastic. Fantastic. I'm gonna rate it a nine. Nine. For vocabulary. Really good. One to ten? Nine. Yes.、Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Why? Because he used、yeah. some really natural phrases. For、Things、example? like technical problems.、Uh, technical okay, problems. technical problems and freaking out. Freaking out was a really good phrase.、Mm. Uh, people studying English, they don't really use those idioms. And idioms and like phrasal verbs、yeah. really make your English sound natural.、Uh, so you thought that he learned it from native speakers. Right. Well, natural conversation. Oh, movies, movies and stuff like、yeah. that. Or is it rock stars? So you probably <laughs> listen to a lot of, a lot of songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah songs. a lot of music. And he probably would have studied lyrics.、Uh, and he also would have had a lot of people in that music industry、uh, that are native speakers. And then he talks a lot to them.、Uh, it doesn't sound like textbook English. Okay. I had、I'm、a good, technical yeah, yeah. problem to get in this. Zoom, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm、uh, freaking out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, very natural. Pronunciation? I'll rate his pronunciation seven. Seven. Very good, especially for、yeah. a Japanese person.、Because、very Jap- natural. For Japanese, it's really hard to pronounce English. Yes, yes. And also, his R's and L's are fine.、Mm. Technical. Problem freaking out, everything he said was completely understood, but he's still got a little bit of room for improvement. You know, no one's perfect, yeah. So, there's still a little bit of room to improve there for his pronunciation. Can you give me an example? 
from the video. Like he's very advanced, but he's not quite natural yeah, fluent I say, in like... his pronunciation. I'm being very picky though. <laughs> Seven's a good score. <laughs> well, also you can tell that this isn't a script. This isn't some pre-planned video yeah, or yeah, something yeah. like that, like yeah. we watched with the women. He's like thinking version. it's yeah. on the spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, you know, he, he was probably pretty nervous mm -hmm. because he had he was late to this interview and everything like that. So he's, he's thinking on the spot, he's freaking out, but still he manages to speak such good English. So he even for that, I might rate it an eight. Eight. Five, five. Extra bonus. Yeah, extra bonus. Yeah, yeah. And actually, yeah, it's a really, really good pronunciation. Grammar, I'm gonna rate a seven. Seven. Because, so seven's a very good score, anyway. <laughs> so seven, seven. I'm pretty harsh. Okay. No, I've got seven uh, for the grammar because he did make some little mistakes here and he had some like little pauses where he was halfway through a sentence mm. and then started again. But yeah, overall, really good grammar. Everything he said was completely understood. And yeah, sounds really good. Okay. Sound, sounds like a rock star, you know? Rats. Yeah. So total score? 9, 8, 7, 7, 7, 7 Human calculator right here. <laughs> <laughs> then, next. Who's next? Who's next? <laughs> next guy is going to be Yoshiki's friend. Yoshiki's friend? Gakt. Oh, Gakt! You know, I really like Gakt. And did you know on YouTube, Gakt even teaches English yeah, yeah, yeah. in his channel. So he's making English cool. Let's check it out, his English. Then. Now let's check it out. Oh. Hey Tom, uh, hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. can I hey, ask you a question? Yes, you can. Yeah, I heard. I heard you're gonna go back tomorrow, right? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, do you have any plans to go somewhere, or uh, is there anything you want to see in Tokyo tonight? Uh, yeah. What do you recommend? <laughs> what do you recommend? Uh, what about what about going to your uh, golden? Uh, Golden guy. Have you ever gone to Golden guy? guy? Uh, 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 too many times. Too many times. Too many times. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Have you heard? Have you heard of it? Hey, Samuel Jackson. Uh, uh, there's a there's a place in Seoul. Old fashioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Look at the English. English. Yeah. Well, first things first. Mm. Very cool. Here's the thing, guys. A lot of you guys, just like X, you mm. guys don't need those super high level vocabulary. Uh, like big words? Yeah, yeah, but big words. You just want to have a conversation like this. Yeah, naturally. Yeah, hey, yeah. what are you doing in Tokyo? Oh, you got any plans? Oh, why not go check out Golden Guy? These kind of conversations. Big yeah. ego. Mm. You know, just the day to day English because. If you use those super high level words anyway, it doesn't really sound natural. Mm. Like if you do it on purpose. So if it's like super basic word, super basic word, all of a sudden super high word, it sounds very unnatural. unnatural. Yeah. So what I like about Gakt is he used very simple words. Mm. You know, probably everyone could understand his English even yeah. if you're not super high level. I would rate his vocabulary around, just from this clip, mm. seven. I know that he knows probably those higher words, mm. but he didn't use too many like phrasal verbs yeah. or anything like that. It wasn't the scene that he used big words, so... Yeah, hey, yeah. yeah. He was just basically talking. It sounds like he's talking to his friend. Yeah. And here's the thing, guys. Even like native speakers, mm. we use simple words all the time. But one thing we do use is we use a lot of idioms and phrasal idioms. verbs and stuff like that. Which are just, they're hard to learn because you have to just remember them. You so, don't have to like remember big words, like difficult words. Yeah. But you gotta remember like uh, idioms. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Idioms. Words. And one thing about Gag's English, maybe he hadn't spoken in a long time in this video. It did sound like he was translating in his head, especially because he had a lot of pauses yeah. and then was like, um, uh, you know. Yeah, you know, which native speakers do anyway. But it sounded a bit like he was thinking first, like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, do, do you have to use? Like, a little bit of perfectionist. Yeah. Perfectionist, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Because he's got his image too, right? Yeah, so he yeah, has yeah. to protect that, you know? Yeah. Okay, and pronunciation is the last one. I'm gonna rate his pronunciation pretty good. I'll, I'll rate it eight. Actually, really good pronunciation. Yeah, I think all those are ah, ah, you know, practicing that. <laughs> and also, yeah. here's the thing just like Yoshiki had very good pronunciation, uh, singers learn pronunciation very fast. Yeah. Because their ears are very adapted to picking up sounds and mimicking those sounds. Mm. Unlike the tone. Tones, tone and also rhythm. Yeah. Rhythm is very important. So yeah, some of the fastest learning students I've had were all singers and musicians. And uh, the 
last one. Uh, grammar. Grammar, <laughs> I'll do eight. Eight. Good. Okay. Uh, actually, I'll do 7.5. 7.5. In between, in between. His grammar didn't make any mistakes. Yeah. But because he was translating it in his head to be mm. to sound perfect, it made it come out a bit less natural. Just the rhythm of his grammar. So 7, 7.5, 8. Uh, total... 23.5. No, 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 no. Uh, 22.5. Hey, pretty good, you know? So now his math is better than my math, so there you go. Okay, next one is Jin. What does he do? Uh, he's a singer. Mm. Let's go. What's up? How are you doing? How are you? So we're here, obviously, to support uh, Harold and Kumar, the third installment. Have you seen the first two films at all? Actually, this is first time for me to watch. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So I'm excited about it. Have you have you heard all the hype behind it and how it's gonna be funny and stuff? Or? Oh yeah. Um, uh, my my friend told me that like there is uh, something. Do you know White Castle? Yeah, the yeah. burger. That's uh, that's a startup. Yeah, it's, that's that's actually how how I uh, how I got to know White Castle. Because this film. Yeah. Cause, yeah. <laughs> you know, are, you, are you out in LA no, for a while? No, or are you just visiting? I'm actually moved yeah. in, and um, yeah, to welcome my album. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to release my single with Jason Derulo. Okay. Jason Derulo. Does he do that on your song? Yes. <laughs> okay, we, we had to make sure he did that on yourself. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. And what was it like working with him? He's blown up, especially here for the last couple of years. Uh-huh. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. What, what, what is the chemistry like on the single? What can we expect from it? Uh, well, like, actually, um, uh, I don't know. Uh, the Stop. first single. Okay. Straight off the bat. Vocabulary, 10 out of 10. Whoa. Why? Because his listening is amazing. This reporter spoke at a yeah. his normal speed and used very advanced words. Mm. Things like hype, yeah. which is very native, native blew, word. Blew up. Blew up. Mm. Chemistry. Chemistry. Yeah. Which is like, if you don't understand those words, what he's saying sounds so weird. Yeah. Blow up is bakahatsu. Yeah. Chemistry is kagaku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, huh? huh? <laughs> but behind those words, there's an idiomatic meaning. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And this fellow here, what's his name? Jin Akanishi. Mr. Jin, mm -hmm. that he understood those words and was able to respond. So really good, really good vocabulary. Yeah, Straight off the bat, 10 out of 10. And he came in. Yeah, yeah, handsome guy, you know, <laughs> wears suits and stuff, so he's a handsome suit. guy. So what I'm trying to say here is, it sounds like he hangs around a lot of native speakers. Yeah, he got a lot of friends there. Oh, you can tell, you know, he's friends with Jason Derulo, the man. So, Jason Derulo. Yeah, there you go, there you go. So, has he lived overseas a long time? Well, he moved in LA. Well, there you go. You ten years, I guess. Ten, ten years. Ten years. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like it sounds like he spent a very long time there, and he's picked up that very natural English and very natural expressions. Mm -hmm. Grammar. Sure. He sounds like he didn't really study in textbooks. No. It sounds like he learned all from his friends, mm -hmm. and he speaks this, he speaks like that. Mm -hmm. So some of his grammar might have been a little bit off, and how he responded to questions, mm -hmm. you could tell that he's not a native speaker, yeah, but he's yeah. still learning. I think like someone asked him about uh, what's your opinion on Jason Derulo, and then all he said was like, "Oh, I heard that." Yeah. So like, it's a great response. Everything made sense, but we wouldn't really answer like that. You know, mm. the reporter asked his opinion on something. But would you say then? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just said, I heard it. That, that's fine. That's, it's, the English isn't wrong, mm. but the reporter was probably looking for a different answer. So I gave 10 out of 10 for vocabulary. Grammar, I'll give him an 8. 8. Mm. Because, you know, 8 is still an amazing score. Yeah, 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 yeah. 8. And then his pronunciation. Pronunciation? I'll give it 9.5. 9.5. What, what was like 0 0.5? You see, you can tell, like, 10 is native level. Okay. So, so almost hard. native. Yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty much. Well, like, it sounds very natural, but just didn't sound like how a native stick would pronounce it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give 9.5. So this guy's very high score. So well done. 18 plus... 27.5. Yeah, 27.5. You were calculating it, right? Oh, man. Mate, mate, what are you talking about? What's this? Uh, what's... Okay, well, Who's next? Sumarashi. Magical drink up here. Okay, oh my gosh. Hey, amazing, amazing. Hats off to you. Hats off to you, brother. Wish. He did have a nice hat. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, hats off. Who, who is it? Nino. Nino Mia. Uh, Nino. I forgot his first name. But... Okay. Nino. Nino. Let's go. Do you know? Do you know? Shimi Inari? Shimi Inari? No. No. Oh. <laughs> Very British. This <laughs> spot. <laughs> Japanese. Number one spot. Very okay. famous. Yeah, you know? very famous. Do no. you know? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Kind of like that. So, mate, 
Nino is doing his best. Yes. At least for this interview. Yeah. But you can kind of tell that he didn't really prepare his English skills to that point. So probably in school, studied a little bit, you know, yeah. he did the little tests and stuff like that, <laughs> but he never really practiced speaking. So he's got some words yeah. like spot. A lot of people don't know the word spot as yeah. meaning place. No, I, we actually say it in Japanese. Oh, really? Well, there you go. No, so. <laughs> he used the word a lot of Japanese people use, but yeah, yeah, yeah. unnatural for native speakers. Yeah, for like, example, do you know? Do you know? Yeah, yeah. And yes. also, what was the word? Very, very famous. Very famous. Very famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very famous. <laughs> so in Japan, everything is very famous. Yeah. Yo, oh, Kono no Mono, very famous. Is it? I don't know. Yeah. What for? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what for? So we use like very famous if it's really famous. You know, yeah. like, oh, Michael Jackson. Man, super famous, you know? Mm. LeBron James, super famous. But if it's just like a like landmark, like a tourist spot, you're not really super famous. You're not very famous. <laughs> you know? yeah. Like for Shimi and Ari, it's cool place, but it's not super famous. Yeah. Not very famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you know, pff, ah, what to write in, brother? <laughs> so, vocabulary. <laughs> vocabulary. Write him one. One? Bottom. That's harsh. He, at least, like, he was able to communicate with them, yeah, at least, yeah, yeah, yeah. a little. Uh, two, two, okay, two, yeah, two. Thank you. <laughs> two, two for Nihon. Two for uh, Nino. Nihon. for Nino. Nihon for Nino. <laughs> Nihon for Nihon. Nihon. <laughs> Grammar? Grammar? Well, he didn't actually make any mistakes. Ooh. So? Three. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, he, he didn't make any mistakes. He then. didn't make any mistakes, but, but he didn't say anything. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, okay. you know. So if he had more grammar to, to structure some sentences together, uh, he would get at least yeah, like he would four make a lot or of five. Mistakes. Yeah. And I'll give him a three. You know, like, do you know? Very famous. Dude, he got like five so far. Five? Uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> then, touch. Yeah. Then pronunciation. Touch, uh, the pronunciation. Oh, uh, 2.5. 2.5! <laughs> he's doing so, his best. Total. Give him a year. Give him a year. Okay. If he continues, he'll get 10. Yeah. Uh, Nino total, 7.5. Uh, he's got some room to improve, let's say. But honestly, probably a lot of people are this level in Japan. Mm. You know, and they're interested in English. They haven't been studying a lot. What you have to do is you just have to have a lot of input. Yeah. So you can tell like this guy, he doesn't really watch a lot of foreign movies, mm. songs or you know, he doesn't have that input. And now he's trying to speak, but he doesn't have anything to use. Yeah. yeah. So imagine if you're cooking, but all you've got is white rice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you can't true, make true. a good dish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can make white rice yeah. only. Like, so first you need more ingredients. Like, you know, make a lot of food. Like, you know, talk to a lot of people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Output as well. But first, what I recommend is gather those ingredients. Mm. Do that input first. He needs more input, input, input. Listen, listen, listen every day. And then you're going to be able to have beautiful dishes because you're going to have some cabbage. You're going to have some meat. You're going to have some salt and pepper and some yeah. spices and some soy sauce. You know what I mean? So first get that input, fill up your cupboard, fill up your refrigerator and then start cooking. Okay. And cooking is when is output. And we don't have to be embarrassed if we got a 7.5. That means like we are on the way mm. to the 30. Right? Mm. Yeah. Let's be honest. There's no we got going a, down. If you're at 7.5, you, there's only way up. We got a lot of space to uh, improve. And that's, that's something to be excited about. Mm. Because here's the thing. When your English is a very high level, it's very hard to get to the next level. When you're at a beginner level, like Nino here, you know it's very me? easy to progress. Yeah. You learn three new phrases. Mm. You've already doubled your <laughs> your vocabulary. Yeah. You learn 10 new words. That's like a whole new dictionary. <laughs> if you are already at Aiken EQ and all that high, super high level, it's very hard to get to the next level. Yeah. So he should be super excited to get to that next level. And if he wants to, man, he, he can. Yeah. Anybody can learn English. Look at someone like Sanao. Even, even a guy like this can learn English. So, you know, <laughs> you yeah, guys yeah. can do it too. Next one. Who is it? Kimutaku. Kimutaku. Mm. That's a nice name. It sounds like a Korean name. Kimura Takuya. Ah, uh, Kimura Takuya. What does he do? He's a, a actor, yeah. Okay. And also a singer. Check it out. Let's check it out. Kimutaku English. That's anniversary for me, too. Yeah, the, the he's he's keep keep go keep doing the shooting film the every time maybe three or four in year. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe it. But uh, this film uh, mm, that's my honor. 
Oh, that's a password. All right, let's start. So, Kimitaku is doing his best. He's doing good. You can tell that he's actually studying. So he has some words like anniversary, honor, which are qu quite hard words, like yeah. quite actually advanced. So vocabulary. Vocabulary, straight off the bat, I'm gonna rate him a seven. Not perfect yet, obviously, he's still got some room to improve. Right behind the Nina. Right behind the Nina. <laughs> Already. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I see, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So seven, he had some great words he was using. Honor. Honor is such a good word, you know, I, I really like that word. And it's great, you know, like Japanese samurai. <laughs> and pronunciation? Pronunciation, I'm gonna do a bit less. I'm gonna give him a five. Ah, uh, five, okay. Because you could tell that some of the words, very well pronounced. Mm. Some of the words, year, it sounded a bit like ear, which is quite a common problem with Japanese. Uh, they have a bit of a problem with yet, yet, ear, ear, and year. Yeah, you, yeah, ye ear. Year. Ear. Yeah, year. Then, ear. Yeah, so a lot of a lot of Japanese they say ear. Uh, oh, two ears ago. But you can under, you can understand what they're saying. It still communicates. That's hard. But it, it's hard to pronounce. But overall, pretty good. Grammar. And grammar, I'm also gonna rate 5.5. 5.5. 5. 5. 5. Uh, okay. six. Six. 5.5. Nice. Why? Because yeah, why? a bit like Gak it did sound like he was translating. So it sounded a bit like oh I'm on that game. Uh honor it. Like, oh, I'm uh, two films a year, like two shoots a year. You can tell that he does have the vocabulary, mm. but he hasn't really practiced a lot. So a lot of the things he has learned is lost. So he would have learned it one time, but he doesn't have time to review, mm. or he didn't review them. So the words that he did learn became lost. Because in English, we have a famous quote, use it or lose it. Use it. And it sounds like He's studied. He might have some classes to do with his acting. A lot of actors, they do English classes. A lot of singers do English classes. But he just, he's a busy man. Mm. He hasn't had time to review his English. Yeah. And he doesn't have much opportunity as well. It sounds a bit like. But yeah, overall, pretty good. A lot of people are probably this level. Mm. So he's a great inspiration. So 5.7, 5.5, five, that'll make uh, 17.5. Wow. Yeah. Human oh, calculator. Yeah. Yeah, I went to an economic school as well, you know, we did a lot of maths. Yeah. If the average is 15. Uh, average about. is 15. Okay. Yeah, obviously, because that would be 555. Five, five. Uh, he's, he's above average. You can tell that he is working hard, but he's just busy. Um, a lot of people in the same situation. 17.5. Which is pretty good. Okay. Very honorable. Honorable. Last one. Honorable. 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 You know the meaning of onara in Japanese, right? I don't know. Part. Oh, really? <laughs> Onarabo. Oh, onara. 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 The last. Who's the last one? Last one. One OK Rock. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I, I I know the one o'clock rock. Super famous. Very famous. Very. So this is very famous. <laughs> okay. Whis and Sheeran. Oh, yeah. Mm. Brilliant. I love it, Ed Sheeran. I'm in love with the shape of you. Shape you better not say that on YouTube. You might get it. Like a copyright strike. <laughs> there you go. I did this um, oh, the, an Italian song about two years ago, oh, no. and I was so tired after it. Like my head <laughs> just hurt so much, so I know where you're at right now. Fine. You're right. You're tired. Fine, fine, yeah. I need to like you know. You listen to it, and yeah, yeah. And get into my body, and just. Comes Pretty out, good so English from this guy. How old is he? No, really like you know, I'll do no, yeah. around the thirty, the first I guess. Thing for really? Mm. And then after Wait, that, like, that's it's, it's like, like a couple, of, time, a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it sounds good. It's, uh, mm. It sounds great, though, man. Okay. Sounds great, though, man. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Oh, he's so hey. Hey. super great. Straight off the bat, I want to say props to. Because he's living his dreams in English. Yeah. Mate, to collaborate with Ed Sheeran, nice. you gotta be on a super high level. And he's doing it in English. Ed Sheeran doesn't speak Japanese. He sings his songs all English. Fantastic. So, and this is a great thing to do because a lot of the time I say, don't study English. Do the things you love in English. And Taka is doing that. Mm. He loves singing, obviously. You can tell by the passion. When he talks about singing, he's so passionate about it. So, vocabulary then? Vocabulary. Well, first thing you can tell he was a little bit nervous. Okay. So it's yeah, a bit, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's with Ed Sheeran yeah, yeah, singing a song, cool. someone's filming a video. So you could tell that if he was relaxed, he would probably have a bit higher level. For what this video is, to rate it fairly, I'm gonna rate him an eight. 
Hey. He had some very good, uh, very good vocabulary, and also his responses sounded very natural. And also Ed Sheeran, his English is hard to understand, even for me. Yeah, because British accent. Sure. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna rate him at 8.5. Oh, because Ed, Ed Sheeran was actually saying some very high words, mm. and Taka could understand it all. One thing he said was like, "I feel you, I feel, I feel you." Yeah, yeah, it means like, "Kimi no kimi chi." I understand you. Yeah yeah, 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 I understand you. And he was able to respond very. Proper manner and had great vocabulary there. So 8.5. 8.5. And the pronunciation. I'm gonna write his pronunciation. 9.5. 9.5. Oh, really? Oh, I couldn't actually hear any mistakes. It does sound like he's Japanese mm. speaking English, mm. which is not a problem. That's a beautiful thing. It's actually so hard to get to a 10 in yeah, pronunciation yeah, yeah. because to have a 10, you gotta sound like an American. You gotta sound like an Australian or a British person. But he sounds like Japanese, which is fine. Yeah. yeah. And that's beautiful. But all that he said was understood. So that's amazing. So 9.5 there for Mr. Taka. The last grammar. Grammar. Everything was super clear. clear. I, would, I would rate his grammar an eight. eight. Just like the, the guy with the nice hat and the glasses. Mm -hmm. Jin? Jin, yeah. Jin, yeah. yeah. It sounds like Taka learned all his English, not from textbooks, mm. but from friends. Friends, yeah. And living abroad. And th that's a much funner way than textbooks, right? So mm. nothing wrong with not having perfect grammar. Uh, and it did sound a bit like he was yeah, had some pauses. Also, he's nervous. Mm. So from what I can hear in this video, I'm sure when he's relaxed and speaking casually, he's probably at a much higher level with his mm. grammar. But at this situation, to be fair, I'm gonna rate it an eight. Hey, total. Mr. Mass Man. No, what was the, the, the pronunciation? Pronunciation was 9.5. 9.5 and grammar 8. 8. Vocabulary. Right? Vocabulary 8.5. 8. 8. Then pronunciation 9.5. Uh, grammar 8. So that's uh, 27. That's, uh, no, 18. 18 plus 8 is sure. 26. 26. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So who won? I don't know. Uh, Jim, I think. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. I think I you got a 27. 27? He yeah, yeah, 27? Yeah, he did, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, But I would rate him and Jin about the same. They're, they're both in the first prize. And so. you're just watching one video, so yeah. we can't rate like exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And also, I did them in, in your order, so yeah. if it was a different order, I might rate them different human yeah. nature. But yeah, I, I would rate those two boys at the top. And what's the big takeaway? from this video is these boys are doing what they love in English. They've grabbed life by the horns, went overseas, made friends, and didn't just learn it in textbook and then forget about it. Mm. Like some people in the video, uh, they use what they learned. And that's a great way to re reinforce it. So great role models, these two young Japanese chaps, Jin and Taka, learn from these boys. <laughs> Where's my favorite guy, Mr. Ken Watanabe? Watanabe Ken? You didn't put him in the video? No, I didn't. Uh, next video, next video. Thank part you. two. So <laughs> if you want to see part two, subscribe. We're going to have Rating Ken Matanabe uh, uh, and uh, Degawa, Degawa. Mr. Degawa. Degawa. Mr. Degawa. 30. 30. 30. 30. They speak pretty much great English, so yeah, I don't think they have a problem to communicate with like native speakers. No, so, no. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And what do you doing? You're playing PS2. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. If you wanna mm. learn English, if you're serious about it, you gotta make Time to learn! So many people they say I don't have time so now. Make time! Yeah, let's learn from them and let's study English more. And buddy, you got this. Kimi gara zettai dekiru yo. Ganbaro. ということで, if you like this video, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye kids. See you later.